Today I review the MD base layer and breathable t-shirt. Hello legends and super legends. Welcome to Velo Harmony. The last time I did a review here, uh, I reviewed the La Passion jersey and one of our <clears throat> super legends, uh, Robert, uh, my neighbor, Tangler, he uh, mentioned that, you know, he, he's not in the market for jerseys. I think Robert Rise, a recumbent, and also you guys know about Tony Sweet, who rides a Velomobile. I'm sure if you ride in a recumbent, you don't need jerseys that have pockets in them and all of that. So you just need something comfortable and breathable. I've reviewed other MD products and I told Robert that they were sending them while they got here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do the review. Uh, what I wanna do is uh, start with the base layer and focus on the challenges you'll have when you get them. Now, this base layer here is excellent. They, I've reviewed a similar base layer made by MD. It was orange a long time ago. This base layer is made of 49.6 polypropylene, 47.0% of nylon, and 2.6% of spandex. So it's very breathable, very comfortable. I wore it all night. That's, my, that's the first test for people that give me products that claim they're breathable. And I did not overheat, I did not sweat in it or anything else. So I decided to go ahead with the review. They sent this in the royal blue, I believe. It's kind of a cross between royal, but not quite navy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and begin the review. Okay, as you can see from the prior review I did earlier in the year for one of the other base layers, I think it was orange, it was a different color. I learned that the sizing on their base layer that, that they list on their Amazon store is off. Meaning that for my chest size, I'm a 42 inch chest size. They list my size in this as XXL. Well, that ended up being a lot looser than I like them. This fits the way I like my base layers to fit. Okay, so you can put on a jersey over them or you can even wear them like this. Okay, if you're somebody who's big boned or you're heavier, bigger than me, broader shoulders, then you can kind of go with the size per their size chart. I have already communicated to them that I will be letting you guys know. And in post production, I will put the chart here as I talk about this and you'll see it. But what, what it is is that the XL, which I'm wearing, is listed on Amazon as 36 to 39 thereabouts. You'll see it on the actual chart just in case I'm off. The reason that's important is everybody else, all the other manufacturers, Rafa, Asos, whoever I buy from, the, the, the measurements fall right. Meaning that when I buy a t-shirt from Rafa that says it's for 42, fits like this. You guys have seen the, the jerseys that I did, even the La Passion jersey, I ended up because their sizing was off and I explained what I did with them. I used the waist size. All the manufacturers have their issues. So if you're going to buy this, this base layer from uh, <clears throat> MD, please consider going down a size if you want it to fit you like this. If you want it to be looser, then you take the actual range that your chest size fall, falls in. Always use your chest size with them. So that's the thing. I kind of communicated that to them and hopefully maybe they'll look into that. But if they don't change it, it's not a big deal because a lot of products run small or run big, you know. So this one kind of runs big. And so I downsized. That's the best way to put it. Fits really well. You can wear this in whatever temperature. It's almost like you're wearing nothing. Right now, I got the fan on in the corner. I can feel it blowing through this. It's almost similar to like my Cool Max bandana when I wear the cycle. You guys have seen me wearing them on the videos. The air just comes through. So this just works. And you know, you could wear it in mild to warm weather as a base layer. When it gets hot, I don't wear base layers. But if I were to wear this, it would probably still work. Because I slept in it and when I sleep, my body temperature goes up. And so... I didn't get, there was no perspiration or anything. If I wear a cotton t-shirt to sleep, when I get up, it's damp. That lets you know these, these space age materials really work. So this is the MD base layer. So you can't go wrong. 
And that's why I told Robert I would be bringing things for different markets. This is not, some guy made a comment on the La Pasión, one of our newest legends, La Pasión Review. He said, Park Avenue cycle wear. Uh, that's not kind of how I see things. And you guys know me. I try to get things when they're on sale. But I kind of knew what he meant, the quality. I don't just go for high price stuff. If it's made well and I can get it, I get it. I don't care what the branding is. I go for the quality of the material or the product itself, you know, and this stuff at whatever price, this is an excellent base layer. There is no reason to spend 46 or $50 or whatever else that the other guys are charging for theirs when you can get several of these in different colors to go with your kit. So this works. Okay. The links for these products will be down there or uh, in the, in the description that you can easily get them at your convenience. Now, I'm just gonna keep on the base layer as I introduce you to the t-shirt. And this is more for guys that are, if you're going to the gym to work out, you're going running, whatever. You just want, want a t-shirt to, to lounge around, go to the store, whatever. This stuff breathes just like this, but it has arms. That's the best way I can describe it. They come in all kinds of colors. This is their orange. And it has nice little designs. I'm bringing it close to the camera that I think makes it really nice. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. Right there on the, on, on the shoulder there, there's some on the back. I'm trying to get the angle just right so you can see it. In the middle of the back, it's not gaudy, it's just subtle enough. And I'm gonna put it on so you can see what it looks like. But they're, they're not anything you can feel. They're part of the fabric. You know, they're in there. They're not painted on or anything. They're fabric that are, that are somehow intermeshed in there let's see if they have yeah this is made of uh nylon polyester combination got like 46 and 54 that's the combination very breathable i like these kind of things to wear down here when it's hot in the summer because i always like to keep my body covered if i'm outside um you can use this you're going jogging walking those of you who have recumbents those of you who have velomobiles, this will be perfect. Look at this. Look at this. Look how it fits me. I've got the base layer under there. But you see that? I love these little accents. I think that's why they put it in there. It kind of shows your size. So now, the problem I had was trying to buy the thing. You know, when they sent the product, what I try to do is I try to act like, okay, I'm a customer. I'm going to the Amazon shop for MD and I want to buy this. It was difficult to buy it. I've already communicated to them. I send them pictures or everything, so hopefully they'll get it sorted. But what happened was, this is a unisex t-shirt. Men, women, fine, no problem. When I go to try and buy it, when I click on the drop down to pick a size, all they have are women's sizes, like large, and they got the bus size or whatever. Then they have a size chart to the left that just shows the bus sizes for women. But if, the cool thing was, on the right of that drop-down box on the Amazon store, when you, when you, because you're required to put a size in there, there is a size chart link, which takes you to the, uh, it almost looks like a generic Amazon size chart for men, which was spot on. So my size is what I am wearing, 42 inches, okay? So this is a large. So consist, this, this ended up being consistent with Rafa and all the other manufacturers other than the Italians. The Italians I would do in Excel. So the sizing on the size guide link, not the one under the picture of the garment on the left. Those of you who are comfortable with Amazon know what I'm talking about. My problem with that was that when you would try to pick your size now, it did not give you a choice that was referenced on the generic Amazon chart for men. All you had were women's sizes. So what I did was before I did the review, I sent an email, I sent the screenshots to MD, letting them know that there will be a lot of challenges for men trying to buy this stuff because unless the listed size that says L or XL and it says bust, which was using the women's chart that's on the left, is consistent with the men's chart in that size guide, you're gonna run into a problem. And the buyer won't have a lot of confidence that they're pulling the trigger on the right size. 
So they've already been told, hopefully they'll fix that or if it's the same or whatever. But uh, I just wanted them to know. Now, chances are they're consistent that you buy a large. I mean, they only got a large. So if you pick, if you see your chart on the Amazon size guard and you're large like me, you would just pick it large even though they're listed as the women's because they don't have multiple larges. That's what it is. I just want them being anal as I am. They might as well. I wanted them to clean it up. In other words, you, you, you need to add up, keep the size unisex, just like you say it is. So that when I come and pick a large, whether I'm a man, woman, chicken, whatever, that wear a large, it needs to just say large. It shouldn't say bust. It shouldn't say chest. Let it just say large since you're not gonna reference both charts. That's all it is. So, the product is great, you can see the fit. Um, if I had not reviewed some of their products in the past, I would not have known which size to get for me. And that's the reason why I spent a good chunk of this review talking about the sizing. You kinda have to know. You kinda have to know that the base layer runs big, so you downsize. You kind of have to know that this is true to size. That's all. So other than that, the price point is great. And you know, they always have different sales and different coupons that they come out because we collaborate with them. So when they let us know, I will let you guys know. But at these price points, you can't beat it. So this will be perfect for guys that ride recumbents. Those of you that run, those of you that work out at the gym, this is perfect. This is what I use when I'm running around, if I'm on my total gym or just doing stuff, you know, going to different things. I don't only cycle, I do other things. I don't do weights that much, but I do my total gym because it's, it uses my body weight and is, and is very flexible. And I do a lot of calisthenics, push-ups, and different things to strengthen other muscles I don't use on the bike. And these are the kind of things I like to wear because it's hot and humid down here. So if you live in Arizona, Malaysia, wherever, it doesn't matter, dry heat, heat is heat, it's hot. Now, if it's very humid, this would be perfect too. So these are great garments for people who are outdoors, whether you're going hiking, whatever. So give it a shot, check it out. This is what it looks like. So I just wanted to share these products with you to cover, I wanna keep covering different price ranges, different products and keep this channel very universal. So no matter what, get your K's in, stay on top of it and keep those doctors fired.